work in a school system and um, this family uh, had, that our school had rallied around, they sent out an email, our principal asking if anyone would be interested in taking some kiddos that were going to be pulled into foster care. And so I went and talked to the principal and she said she'd give him my number and they said that they did need placement and I agreed. and kind of hesitated and didn't know really kind of an overwhelming feeling Friday was a little more of a um, what had I agreed to and I really almost did back out there was a point in time that I kind of thought I don't know if I can do this like by myself taking on another responsibility of a human and it was supposed to be a month and we had our calendar and mom needed the care that she deserved too um, and just a little time to get herself together and so that's the reason that they came into care she had stuff that she couldn't it was just too much and she couldn't handle it and she needed help and she didn't really want to admit that things kind of fell through and so month turned into well a little bit longer I kind of started to see I don't know if she's gonna be able to do it you know and I wanted her to and I even tell Nathan to this day I the best place would have been with your mom, with your dad, if that's where you could have been cared for and all your needs would have been met. Um, but I just kind of saw that that was a possibility that wasn't going to happen. KVC always supported me really well. Um, and any caseworker that I've had through KVC, especially the boys' as caseworkers, have always been really good. You know, I think God just placed things here and there, and He just placed these boys here. And as it started to unfold, I realized that. I think adoption was going to be our story until we finally got to that adoption day you could tell that for Nathan it was a bittersweet you know it was and I don't want to I don't want him to think of it as the closing of one door but I think in his mind it was the closing of one door but yet he knew that an opening of another door I've had him about three years I've had Nathan for a little over three years and I've had Ray um, not quite three years um, and then recently just adopted them in December. It's nice. It's nice when we have them. We sometimes make the fold some. He pulls um, clothes for me sometimes, and I just put them in my drawer sometimes. And that's all. <laughs> the cuteness used to work on Adam, but it doesn't anymore. Now, if he's in trouble, he's in trouble. But. Even when you're an NBA player, what are you going to remember to do? Yes. Well, what are you going to remember to do? You're going to have all that money and we all talk about it. Get a Lambo? No. Oh, donate. Yeah. yeah. I want to like, donate to charity if I get money. I had people that were kind of saying, if you don't think you can do it, like, don't do it. and. My parents were in town and you know they live a little ways away and, and they called and said if anyone can do it, we know you can. So I did. And I really can't imagine life without him now. I think it's cool to have a big family because, like, <laughs> just wait, just wait. They can't have that in the background.